what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be like an unboxing and review with viicefactory.com they did send me over this package so i'm just going to show you guys what's in the package and then we'll go from there okay so i will be testing everything out in this package i'm not going to do like an overhead view of like what i got in the mail so i'm just going to show you guys right here so they did send me over i did get to pick what type of lash trays I wanted. So I got the self fan lash. So I got Easy Fan D.07 mix. So this is that. And then I got the Easy Fan D.07 mix. So I got two of the same trays. So this is what they look like. So they do feel, they do look nice. Oh yes. They feel like super soft. I don't know, I like to like just touch. So that's one in the box i also received lash adhesive it's a 5 ml specially designed for eyelash technicians so it does come in this cute little box and then it just has the features um the temperature and then the humidity and then tips obviously you know if you're a lash tech you know you're supposed to shake your glue so i'm actually going to be trying this so it's for extended retention what is the retention time so the dry time is 0.05 to one second. So it's supposed to last six to eight weeks. So I'm going to actually try this adhesive. As you guys know, I do use Stacy Lash from Amazon. So I'm going to be trying this adhesive. Stay tuned on my Instagram for retention. So what else is in this box? I got sent over some tape right here. Oh yes, because so this is the tape that I like to use to like lift the lash itself sent over a little package of like glue rings with a spoolie and some gel pads so it came with like four four gel pads it's always actually it's always good to have like extra gel pads so that's a bonus then i got sent over this little tray tile also you guys if you're shopping with vis you can actually use my discount code which is bel10 to receive 10 percent off off your purchase of 20 dollars or more so don't forget to use that i will have it down in the description box with along with everything that i got here so just don't forget to use my discount code okay you guys this is gonna save you some money who doesn't like to save money when it comes to lashing because let me tell you these trays can get very expensive so i do got this little this little pad here you know me i use tiles and i just place them off to the side so i'm actually going to be placing some of these strips from the mixed trays onto here and i'm going to be showing you guys the fanning process so you can put the the little circle for the glue here if you don't want to use your glue ring and then it has your curl your thickness and then 9 to 17 mm in thickness so that's what that looks like so this is very cute and it's like small i also got some tweezers you guys know me i'm a freaking fan of the i think this is a 45 degree angle these are actually the platinum queen volume lash tweezers so this is what the it, all tweezers always come with a little plastic piece i don't know if you can, guys can see that always comes with a little plastic piece and so this is what that i love these angled tweezers because to me they're just they just make fanning a lot easier so i'm actually going to show you guys how i'm going to take off strip from here and place it onto my tile so this part right here is very easy you're just going to want to take it one strip out from the tray and place it onto your tile again very easy i like to use my tweezers for this again don't use tweezers that you are currently using because they will get sticky and it's going to be hard to place your extension onto the lash because they'll start to stick. The curl, you guys, to freaking die for. Now look at this curl. Oh my goodness, I just love a good D curl. So now I'm going to show you guys how I'm using the Easy Fan Lash Trays. Here I'm just using my wiggle method. Again, the wiggle method is what I have been living for. It's the only method I really know how. I do show you guys some pinching methods here. I'm kind of new still to the pinching method and I'm not the best, but it does work in my favor since they are already sticked together and nice and fanned. The pinching method just makes them fan out just a tad bit more. And you guys, I'm telling you, go get these lashes. Use my code 
BEL10 at checkout to save 10%. I know some of the odd, the video is a little blurry, but you know, bear with me. It was a little hard when you, I honestly don't know how people do these videos, but I just wanted to show you guys how quick and easy these fans come out with the easy fan trays. Now, when you're using these trays with 0.07, these will give you a good, nice light volume look or even a beautiful hybrid look. So I'm just showing you the difference in the, the 15, the 14, and the 13. Honestly, I think the 14, 13 picked up a little bit easier and the fans were a little bit easier to make versus the 15. Now that's just my personal opinion. Again, we are all different and we all have different methods, but for my wiggle method, the 14 and the 13 were a lot more easier than the 15. So just enjoy me making a few easy fans just by picking them up. Look at that. Then we're gonna pinch it. Ooh, nice fan, sister. Again, don't forget to use my code BEL10 at checkout and let me know how you guys like these easy fans. All right, you guys, well, that is that. And don't forget to use my code BEL10, so that's BELL10, to save 10% off of your next purchase of $20 or more, like I said. And if you're going to be using, why is it not focusing on me? And if you're gonna be using these, tag them so that way they can post your page and shout you out, okay? And let me just tell you, your followers are gonna come coming through on your last page, okay? And if you guys like this video, don't forget to get to give it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.